I got another project going on. Now I got two of these. That one I got new off eBay. And this one I got refurbished off eBay. And they both work great. Both work perfect. But the problem with this one that's all ripped up right now is this tripod thing. When I got it, uh, when I got the refurbished one, I didn't realize until a little bit later that the tripod mount is stripped. And this is the part that I got out. As you can see, those the threads there are not good. Okay, and that's, that's what the part looks like. It's down. This is the side of the camera there. The part goes right in there. There's a the part that goes in, mounts in there like in th that way. Now my only problem is, as I was taking the screws out, I thought I'd remember where they go, but there's just too many of them. So what I'm doing now is taking this one apart the same way because I don't remember where the screws go so I'm gonna use masking tape and tape them onto their corresponding holes on this camera but I'll remember exactly where they go on that one just so I can put it back together the right way and the part I called Canon and all together with shipping and everything, the part was 2049. So not too bad. I, I didn't feel like in the hassle of sending it out and all that crap. So I figured I'd just do it myself. And now to start, first thing you need to do is make sure, of course, that battery's off, your tapes are out. And there's also see that little battery right there make sure you take if your camera has that that retains the date settings when your battery's off take that out and then cycle the switch on and off just to make sure you get all the electricity out so you don't short out anything so what I'm doing is as I take off screws I'm matching them up over here with ones I have in that pile and then I'm gonna mask them masking tape use, preferably use painters tape little pieces of that I'm gonna put them on the trim pieces where they go now you can see I taped like I said I taped the screw in its spot on the frame piece it's off you can see it's in there and that way, after you take each frame piece off, put the screws there so you remember where they go because after a while, a lot of times there's going to be a lot more screws than you think, which happened here. So it makes it a lot easier. Alright, I got all, all the screws marked on there. I even had to put one on the frame right there. They're all on there. And they're just, they're not in the threaded part. They're just through just where they go through without threading and then on the bottom this had one and inside there all that and also when you're taking something apart it's a good idea to write on a paper which parts you removed first in order and then when you put it back together just follow that backwards another thing these cables if you have these ribbon cables, look very closely how they come out. Make sure you don't force them out because sometimes there's a little tab like this you can see on that one. That goes here. Or which one? Yeah, this one. No, that's a big one. The bigger one goes on here and there's a little lever here that needs to go up and down so you want to make sure that that's up when you put it in then you close it down when you put the ribbons in 
because these ribbons if you screw these up <laughs> you're done you're not going to be fixing it unless you get a new circuit board and you're better off probably just getting a new camera another good thing is I was able to clean the lenses all the way to the edges because a lot of times they had bezel that goes over it the dust gets caught right around the edges when, you, when even when you use a good lens cloth it pushes it to the sides a lot of times now when you're working on stuff like this uh, if you're not going to finish it right away it's a good idea to put it in a box doesn't get knocked around or anything and so you can close it so it doesn't get dusty because stuff like that you really don't want dust getting in